What is up guys, welcome to the studio. I'm John the Potter. Today we have a super fun video. We're doing Raku. And so this is the first Raku firing of the summer because we don't do it in the winter because it's too cold outside. So Raku is this really fun process where we're gonna fire pots in that kiln and really quick. So it will get up to like 17 or 1800 degrees in about an hour. So normally it takes us eight hours for a firing but this one's only gonna take one hour. And then at the top temp, we pull the pots out and then put some in garbage cans, which you can see we have right there. Uh, we'll leave some that don't have any glaze on them and we'll burn horsehair on it so you get these cool black lines like the carbon and whatever is in horsehair that burns into the clay. Super fun process, uh, very excited to share it with you. Couple things, we're keeping the Etsy shop stocked as much as possible, so if you want any pots, you can check out the Etsy shop, as well as our biggest event of the year is August 12th and 13th at my studio, you can come we do Raku demonstrations, I do wheel throwing demonstrations, I have tons of pots for sale, it's just a really fun event, it's my biggest sale, the best prices I have all year, so come check it out August 12th and 13th. All right, let's do this Raku, hopefully it goes smoothly, hopefully I don't have anything living. Last year we had a, uh, some baby something living in there because we didn't check it all winter and can't think of a better house for a little baby animals, but, so this is the kiln, it's just a homemade kiln, another potter friend of mine made it. It's got fiber blanket all around it, and then it's got a hinge so it opens. That's the thing about Raku that makes it different from other processes is you need to be able to get into the kiln when it's really hot. So figuring out a way, some will like have a crank and you like lift it up. Some are just built into trash cans like that and you'll fire it and then you pull the pot out of it. This one hinges open. All right, let's do it. Yeah, that was heavy. <laughs> So it'll be interesting. Okay, so these are the pots that we are going to put in this firing. These have a glaze on them called Blue Hawaiian, which is just a glaze that we found in a book that I really like. Turns out blue, if it's oxidized, if you put it in Raku, then it gets crazy colors. And then these we're all gonna put horsehair on. So one, two, three, four, five. We'll take them out one by one, burn the horsehair on. So super interesting. So cleaned up the kiln. Now we just gotta hook up the gas and start her up. Let's do it. fancy weed burner that we got from Home Depot and we got our fancy stand that we made hooked up to our propane tank so same gas that gets to our gas kiln now we're just gonna start her up all right there we go we're now we're cooking with gas as they say Here are the buckets. So if we put these, we're gonna put this newspaper, crumple it up and put it in to the garbage cans. And then when the pots go in there, it lights everything on fire. And then we close it. So we starve it of oxygen. And that's what creates a reduction atmosphere for the Raku. And then here we got, we got horse hair, we got feathers, we got goat hair, just lots of good stuff. All right, so it's been about an hour and 20 minutes. We're at, the pyrometers say 16, like 40 or 1630 or something like that. Um, I can't really remember what we've done in the past. So we're just gonna do it, see how it goes. I think it's plenty hot to burn the horse hair on. We'll see if the other, how the other glaze looks. It's pretty forgiving, that other glaze. So there's a wide range in which it looks good. Yes, you can all yell at Kai for wearing Birkenstocks. Because <laughs> I know you will in the comments. All right, just give it one second. No, 
smells like burnt hair. So now we're unloading the these guys. Woo! Probably could have let that go a little longer, but really cool. Really, really cool. Interesting. That you chose to glaze that in that. Turned out sweet. Yeah, that glaze is freaking the best. I love that glaze. If this one's cool. Sweet! Dude. No, this is all the same glaze. All blue all Hawaiian. Yeah. Fun. All right, so that was it. Overall, went pretty smooth. Uh, we probably could have let it get maybe a little hotter, so maybe next time we'll let it go a little hotter, but I'm pretty, I'm happy with the results. The horse hair worked really well, so definitely got hot enough for that. Uh, now I just gotta make some more pots. Very exciting stuff. If you wanna see this live, we will be doing demonstrations uh, August 12th and 13th at the studio. You're invited to come check it out, the Epic Pottery event, the third annual. Uh, we'll have lots of horsehair pots for sale, lots of fun, interesting gas-fired pots for sale, just tons of stuff. With wheel throwing demonstrations, we'll have a few wheels throw like set up. You guys can come check it out. It's just like a fun, celebrate pottery event. All right, check out the Etsy shop if you wanna see any pots for sale right now. Otherwise, we'll see you guys in the next video.